Well, we first told you last night how one man had had his PC Plus points hacked, stolen. Now, Loblaw was saying that it was from prior hacks involving places like Yahoo. But today, since we ran that story, we have been inundated with calls and emails from others who say they've had the same thing happen to them. I'm a systems administrator, so I use a different password for every site that I go to. So I'm not quite sure how they would have gotten a unique password. We spoke to Vishal Gupta last night. Since then, we have been inundated with similar stories, including that of Deanne Sharp, who says when she went to a London superstore, she was told 110,000 of her points were gone. I continue to say, no, that, that can't be right. I said the last time I checked before I came here, it was 124 plus what I earned today. Adding to her a headache, the PC Plus offices are closed on the weekend, so she had to wait until yesterday. That's when she got the second shot. 45 minutes on hold, number 58 in the queue. She was then told where they were used. She was very nice and sympathetic. Um, you know, and she said, I'll look into it. She did tell me that my points had actually swiped in Quebec. Sharp says she's um, never been to Quebec. Had... We contacted Loblaws repeatedly trying to get them on camera, but they would not. They did provide us with this statement. There have been a number of high profile privacy breaches recently, most notably Yahoo and LinkedIn. When large numbers of usernames and passwords were accessed, if someone uses a favorite username and password for multiple sites and one of those sites is exposed, their other accounts can be exposed too. Loblaw would not say if they've contacted police about this, and Toronto police say their financial crimes unit has had no complaints, but they do urge people to come forward if they've been scammed. The bad guys actually are extremely organized and they do have file systems for information that they take and breach. Daniel Tobak, CEO of Cytelligence, says thieves don't need all your info from one place. With the black web and software available to the public, they can pull your profile from snippets throughout the web. What can people do to try and protect themselves against something like that? You have to be diligent. Uh, you do have to have a sense of security in terms of, okay, is this a smart thing that I'm doing? Am I publishing my information out there too much? It's about asking various enterprises of what they're doing with your information. Loblaw says it will reimburse Sharp and the others. Now, Sharp says she would also like to see Loblaw bring in some security changes, such as passwords. 110,000 points is $110. So it can, it can go a long way when you have a family of four like ourselves. Blah blah does says does say that it has a team of cybersecurity experts monitoring situations like this, looking for these problems. They say only a few of the PC Plus members have been affected and had their points taken right now.